Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our episode 3 of Hull City Road to Glory Career Mode. Today we're gonna have quite a few games and we're gonna be in the transfer window. We're gonna enter the transfer window. Hopefully we're gonna be in the position where we can see that we can qualify for Premier League. First game today was the game against Reading, the game that I, I really wanted to win. Because playing against the, playing against these teams, you need to make sure that you win. Maybe struggle against the bigger teams. On the 15 minute, Henderson tried a shot. The keeper save, brilliant save. But after, right after that, Asano took a good shot of which it was deflected in the 18 yard area and it went out as well. So at this point, I was starting to get frustrated. Asano gave it to Krujic. Krujic scored a brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. The goalkeeper didn't move. If you can look at the keeper, didn't move at all. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. After that, I realized that yesterday I said um, on the previous episode, I said that my midfield, my defending midfielders are weak. I think I was mistaken. We are not terrible there because we have Prodigy who's young. This boy is still young, he can do well in his height. I like his height a lot, but I uh, still believe we need somebody to to be a backup to him but it obviously it won't be Phillips. Phillips is too old. The reading came back and they scored the brilliant goal as well on the 70th minute at this point I was thinking now nah, I need to make changes. I'm running out of time. I really need to make changes. Yes I did substitute ways in I put the dead guy Kwang in Hope, with the hope that we're gonna rectify our errors and take the game from them because a draw is not an option in this game. Abraham on the 73rd minutes he made sure that we get the three points. He scored my number 15 is brilliant. To be quite honest, the guy is doing well. I like him a lot. I always wanted to use him, but he's always out on loan. Chelsea always loan him out. But look at the quality of the player. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Well done, boy. He did well. It's 2 1, 73rd minute. On the 92nd minute, they came back. They tried to score, added on time, but they missed. I guess that's the game, boys. That was it. We won the game to 3 1, of which is good. 3 1, it was a good score. I think Hernandez has been performing very well. Look at that save. That was a good shot, boy. Let's train them again. Where is doing well? I just hope that next season is gonna reach 80, of which is gonna be good for me. Of course, I need the player to go to grow. Because 
because I'm going to use him. In future, he's going to be our top striker in the Champions League. Right into the next game. Went to the next game with Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. It's not going to be easy. I knew that before I started the game. It was going to be tough playing Leicester City. It's the Premiership side that have won the Premier League once. So far, I know they are not doing that well, but they still have Fadi. They still have Gray. They have Fuchs at the back. So, oh, Brighton is also there. Good defending there, boys. Trying to keep them at bay. The first 10 minutes, they are coming at us. Gray gave it to Didi. Vardy, of course. Brilliant goal from Vardy. He scored. I don't think there was anything I can do on that shot, boys. There was nothing, nothing, nothing I can do. We are one down. Hopefully we're gonna come back. Because if they can score the second goal, then that's game over. There's nothing I can do. Good pass, Tim way. He took a good shot. Keeper save. That's why I like Tim way. He's good, he's good. Second half, still one nail down. Hopefully we're gonna find a way, boys. At this point, I was thinking that maybe I need to, I should have played my first team to play here, but they are not 100% fit. That was the problem. Nelson played well, gave the ball to Timothy Way. Brilliant goal. That was superb goal. That boy scored the brilliant goal, I'm telling you. The boy is good. The boy is knocking on the door. He wants to be a starter. Soon he's going to start. Hopefully, my first team strikers will keep on performing. Because you made one mistake. I take you out. I used him out the way in the starting lineup. Two goals in the Carabao Cup. At that point, I thought I, maybe I need to change Nelson. Since we all know Nelson's stamina, we have an issue with this stamina. His stamina is not that good. We're putting in our promoted youth team players. Barbet and Blondau. Hopefully they're going to do well. Last time I put them in, they did brilliantly well. They combined well and they scored. Look at that. 87 minutes. Did he score the worst goal I ever seen? That was brilliant. What a shot. What a goal. I've never seen that goal scored against me by the PC or an AI but they did today they did that was brilliant and that was it boys we are out of the Carabao Cup I'm so 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 disappointed to go out like this but what can I do nothing this was the only cup that I thought we, we have a shot at winning. Maybe even not winning, but reaching semi-final or final. You know, as a small team, that's the big achievement. But it didn't happen. Then life goes on. Let's move on, boys. Next game, we're going back to our league game. Of which is a must win game again. Every game in the league now, it's gonna be a must win because I don't wanna lose the first position. I don't wanna lose the first position. We're playing Brentford in their own stadium, which means we are away and it's gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be easy. The first minutes, they attacked us, but we want the ball back. Trying to get to them, they want it back. Coming back at us, Mokocho, the South African player, is playing there for the for Bradford. On the 35th minute, Tammy Ibrahim, Tammy Ibrahim scored a brilliant goal. Take nothing away from that header. Look at his movement in the box. Look at his movement. He moved in front of the defender and he just touched it a little. That's brilliant. That's why I like the boy. He's good in the air, shooting. He's fast. He's everything you can ask for. After that, I thought 
we can go on and win this game now because we started in the front foot but this team is refusing to back down look at that last minute of the first half they attacked brilliant defending good positioning from my defenders there and we're trying to catch them on the counter but Edward lost the ball that was it the first half ends 1-0 we are in a good position. Second half, here we go. Trying to increase our lead, going forward brilliantly. Asano is coming with the ball. Asano will cross. He crossed first, they blocked it. Bucket scored. Oliver Brook has scored. That's 2-0. That's the game right there. There is no way that we can lose from this position. There is no way. That's good, boys. My boys are performing well. I'm happy. This win is important to me. That was a good header as well. That was a good header. He showed that he wanted the ball more than a defender. I don't know what the defender was doing there. He's going backward before he can hit the ball. My player went attacked the ball and then he scored final minutes of the game they got the break with hardy who crossed the ball and we defended it badly they shot through chelsea show with show this class they keep the young man is good he's doing well now and like in the first few games where he was he was not well i don't want to lie i was even thinking if by the time i had Svila in I was gonna substitute him. He was gonna be my second team keeper. Then Sweden was gonna play in the first team, but then we didn't get Sweden. He was too expensive for us. We go into the next game against QPR, who are sitting fourth in the league table. We are still first, but there's only one point between us and number two. That is not what I'm about. I don't like it. We need a breathing space, boys. Let's see what QPR have at the KCOM Stadium, our own backyard. We don't want to lose here. We have to fight for a win. 13 minutes with launcher attack. Hernandez is playing deep now because QPR have been defending so deep. Look at that from Tammy Abraham, baby. That was brilliant. That was classic. Look at that. On the 15th minute, we scored the wonder goal. That was brilliant. That's one of the best goals I've scored so far in FIFA 19. I like long, long range shots, man. That's brilliant. Look at the curve on the ball. Oh my God. That was great. Then on the 31st, on the 32nd minute, we came back to QPR trying to attack of which they are defending very deep i don't know why they are defending so so deep and in numbers we cross the ball that was a foul he got the yellow card we got the free kick in a dangerous position if you know how to cross the ball of which is a little bit of a problem in this game it's a problem to take this free kick i don't know if it's a problem for me only Look at that! Oliver Buck has scored again. Last game he scored, this game he scored, both of them. Him and Temi Ibrahim, they've been doing well so far. They've been getting the goals for us while Hernandez has been absent. That is the problem that you are having so far. Hernandez is unable to score goals, guys. He's unable to score enough goals. He's a striker. I, I expect him to score in each and every game. If it's not each and every game, at least assist on one game and score on the other. But let's give the boy a chance. Grudich again, he scored. This team is so good. QPR is dead. 
QPR is nowhere to be found in this game. They're defending too deep and the defenders are not doing their job. They're not doing their job. It's second half already. You're three nil down. There's nothing you can do now. Last minute of the game, look at that crazy defending there. He just whooped the ball outside and I don't know what he was thinking. That's the game right there. Three nil. KCOM Stadium, I love you. I always win when I'm playing there. I love it. We make that home ground advantage count. The, the only thing that I didn't like about the team when I started was the backline. I think next season I need to buy defenders. I don't need strikers that much. I need defenders. I really need defenders and another keeper because I think that long keeper, long, I must, my second team keeper is gonna go. He's gonna go. Against Aston Villa, towards the end of the first half, look at Tammy Abraham. Look at that, baby. Look at that shit. The boy is good. Look at that brilliant goal. On the last minute of the first half, the boy just scored a brilliant goal. But to be quite honest, my winger did well there. There was a good assist from him. Brilliant shot. I'm gonna keep on taking shots with this boy. He's good. He is good at that. I'm gonna keep taking shots with him. 10 goals in the league. He's doing well. Tammy Ibrahim is doing well. Look at that. Referee, give him the card, please. They gave us the ball back there and we tried to score, but they defended well on the first post. We got the corner out of that. Grudic score. Grudic is good, boys. This boy is good. He is good. He's defending well. He's scoring goals. He's assisting. What more can I ask for? Look at that. that I said I like his height and he's using it right now. That's why I like my defending middle fielders to be tall. Just like center backs. I like center backs to be tall. Because I, I hate to concede headed goals. I don't like that. Because they make your defenders look like stupid. Aston Villa was trying to come back there. But now we have wear on the field. It's the last, it's the added on time actually. Asano tried to dribble, they took the ball from him. Aston Villa came back and we, we, we are outnumbered at the back so far. We are not in our positions. They scored. They missed. Oh my God. That guy was supposed to score there. If I was the coach, I was going to be very angry with him. He missed a brilliant goal. We won. We are 53 points. Leeds won again. Jesus Christ, this team. Who's going to beat Leeds for me now? This is going to be tough. Then we have Sheffield United next. Which position is Sheffield United on? It's not going to be an easy game as well. It's not going to be an easy game. Top scoring team. We are the top scoring team with 45 goals. That's brilliant. Obviously, my strikers, they've been so brilliant. They've been great. We are back at KCOM Stadium. Let's go on and win this one, boys. This is our backyard. Of course, I said I will take shots with him. That's what I'm doing right now. What a pass from Laird. What a pass. Cross. That was an own goal. 
look at that cross from Asano. It was brilliant. The defender have no idea how to deal with that. He just put his foot on it, thinking that the keeper is going to handle the ball, but the keeper was already gone. One nil up, Egan goal for us, it's an own goal. What a pass, Hernandez is through, finally, he scored again. That's brilliant, boys. I love it when my team is performing well, because... It satisfies me because I built this team, I built this team. If you can look at the players that I brought in, it's like I was built, I was rebuilding the team actually to be able to fight for promotion. Because this team, if you find their squad the way it is, they are in no position to fight for promotion. If you have teams like Aston Villa, teams like Nottingham Forest, of which I think they have brilliant players. Towards the end of the half, they made a mistake. Hernandez is through again, and Hernandez is scored. Second goal for him in the day. After struggling to score in so many games, on the papers they were writing about him struggling to score. Now he scored two in one game. That's brilliant. That's the spirit, boy. That's good. He got his scoring boots back on now. That means it's game on, boys. If I have my two strikers on form, I feel sorry for the teams who still want to fight for promotion because this cup is mine. Second half, they came back. I thought that was a penalty. And they tried to score. They missed. Good defending again. They, they, they were pressing us. They were pressing us since the beginning of the second half. They are pressing us hard. They really need to score to be back in the game. But with, with standard ground, Fruchel made sure that that one doesn't go in. They came back again. Rogic is doing the defending this time. Look at that shot from Washington. That was a brilliant shot. That was too good. But he missed. Second half. Substitutions now. We only have eight minutes to go. Hopefully and hopefully we can score the third goal. Grodich, where? Where turns and he passed and look at Hernandez! How brilliant was that? Now I'm, I don't know which goal is more beautiful. This one or Abraham's goal. Cause this one is also classy. Look at the way he took it. Look at the way he took it. Oh my God. That was venomous. That was venomous. Well done, boy. He's back. Hat trick. After struggling to score, now he's got the hat trick. Well done, my man. Last minute of the game. They shot and keep us saved. It's a corner. Flotrell did his business. They came back. They scored. I don't know what happened there. Do everything happen so fast? Everything happened so fast. So they scored that goal. It's Washington. That's it. That's the game right there. It's for one. Our man of the match go on and grab his ball. Well done, boy. I'm happy that now we're back and we're scoring again. The 
that was an easy win for us, but it wasn't supposed to be like that. Hernandez, 10 out of 10, good performance, assist by Edwards. That was a brilliant assist, and we also got an assist. Where 7.9, he was playing in a camp this time, but he did well, he did very well. Next game, Sheffield Wednesday, game 23, we simulated, let's see what is going to happen here. We got the red card and we lost the game, oh my freaking god, I don't want to lose games, especially when I'm at home. EA, how did I lose that game? If I was playing away, I would understand because always your away teams win. You always your home team wins. But if I'm a home team, I lose. That's how unfair the game can be sometimes. You can see Bokeh stretching up there. Let's go boys, we've been brilliant so far except that lost, I don't like it, we're playing Miracles Pro, the last game of this episode boy, we were playing Miracles Pro, we have Asam Blogger who's the problem, I hate the guy, cause he hates me too, he scored against me almost every time. Fifth minute, we went to them. Booker took a shot. Booker scored. Brilliant, classy goal. Well done, boy. Well done. Look at that. First time shot, straight into the net. Oliver Booker scored. They coming to us now, and we all know what they gonna do. They gonna score. They missed as some blogger. Thank God as some blogger missed. He doesn't usually miss. Booker took a cross. Brilliant cross. Hernandez scored again. Two games in a row. Brilliant. Well done, my man. He scored again. Four games in. Two games. I don't think he played the last game. The one that we simulated. I don't remember. I think I simulated with my second team. Brilliant header. At the Riverside Stadium, we're leading 2 0. We are in the second half. Defended well. They came to us. Look at that. No, it was still the first half. Why I was saying second half? God. This is the second half now. It's 2-0 down. They are 2 nil down. Hopefully we're not gonna buckle it. What the hell? Costa hasn't been performing well. Our loanee from Madrid is a little bit struggling. Corner he missed. We came back again on the 63rd minute. Ibrahim cross. Hernandez again. What a bullet header. That was a bullet header. The boy is back. Five goals in two games. Wow. That's classy. That's classy. Look at that header. That was brilliant. That was good. Wow, I love it. Though the keeper, I think he should have done better. He should have done better. Good defending again on the last minute on the game. We 
we saw Asan running through on the side. Oh, Hernandez didn't give the ball back to Asan. Oh. That's it. That's the game right there. It's game over. Our last game of the episode, boys. It's been brilliant. It's been great. We did well. I cannot complain with anything. My team is doing well. We lost only one game. Two games. Yes. Remember, we lost against... Uh, against Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. As we look at the league right now, we scored 52 goals. We have 59 points on the game 25. Finally, Leeds United has dropped points. They have dropped points. Which means now we are three points clear. They drew their last game. That's it. I love that one. That's the good thing to happen. Top scorers. Hernandez is tied up with the great guy of Cardiff City. They tied up in the top position with 13 goals. That's brilliant. Thank you, boys. See you again on the next episode. I love you so much.